How's it going? I'm back with another GM mode. And finally, we made the playoffs after two two years of not making it. And finally, in the third year, we make the playoffs, which is just fantastic. As soon as I uh, as soon as I simulated it and saw that we made the playoffs, oh, just the feeling inside, it made me feel so good. But it definitely should not have taken that long. So we got to make up for lost time. We gotta make it far in the playoffs. We gotta make a deep run. We're one of the best. We're one of the. I shouldn't say one of the best. We're on the top half of the teams in the West. Uh, I think we're one of the better teams in the league too. We have uh, a 93 offense, 93 defense. I know that probably doesn't mean too much, but we still got a big question mark in the net. So let's just uh, let's just get into it. I mean, there's nothing really else to do. Ah, game one against the Minnesota Wild. Finally, the first playoff game in, ah, since like 2014 for these guys. 2013. It's been a while. <laughs> they uh, they might be a bit rusty. Or we could count that as them being fresh because they've just had shorter seasons. They've been able to go out, play golf, and get even more conditioned in the offseason. So game one against the Minnesota Wild. Let's get into it. All right, uh, increase. See, I've even forgotten where it is because I don't use those buttons too often. Okay, oh, goals, that's what we need. All right, so actually, no, I'm just going to simulate this period. All right, JVR getting the first goal. First goal for the Dallas Stars on Devin Dubnik. It's going to be tough to beat him, but uh, we can do it. We got some of the best offensive players in the game. We can do it. Simulate period. Oh, okay. They get a couple, but we get a couple. JVR getting his second, and Tyler Sagan chipping it in in the last uh, last few seconds of the period. Uh, let's simulate the third now. All right, come on. Uh, penalty kill? All right, we're killing it. We're killing it. I like it. Uh, I don't remember uh, where we were at for uh, penalty. Ooh, another penalty kill. But I think we had one of the best in the league. I, I Ooh, Nino Niederreiter on Vasilevsky. I don't like that. Oh, power play. We got to capitalize. We got to. Oh, come on. A power play is supposed to... Oh, God. God how do I stop it? Okay, it already stopped. <laughs> that power play is... Uh, I think it's our bread and butter. I don't remember where we were at for it. Jeez, I should have taken a look at this all before. Oh, man. All right, come on. Let's just resume it. Got to get into overtime. We're in the playoffs, so knowing that three-on-three -three crap, you just... This will show who is the better team. And right now we're getting out, or, out shot, so it doesn't look like we're the better team. But let's get into it. Resume simulation. Oh, come on. Come on. There we go. Power play in overtime. Oh, and we don't get it. Oh, man. They're heavily out shooting us right now. And Jamie Benton gets the winning goal. 6.18 left on the clock. He gets the game-winning goal in overtime. Game one for the Dallas Stars. Oh, does that feel good. Getting a game one win, and it's at home. Really uh, really uh, giving a show for these fans in Dallas that this team got has, has what it takes. I mean, we can go far. We just got to put our noses to the grindstone and just keep going. Uh, at a scouting assignment. Here we go. Um, we're, uh, let's go to the, uh, SHL for forwards. Let's go for six weeks. There we go. All right, game two against the Minnesota Wild. Let's simulate it. Uh, yeah, simulate. There we go. All right, uh, sim, oh, let's go to the goals. All right, so game two, uh, I'd love to get another win at home. That'd be great. Want to go up two, two and all, heading to the later barn. So, but we finished this period one to one. Antoine Roussel and Zach Parise. Getting a goal from Minnesota, unfortunately. But shots are looking all right. We just got to get some more pucks on that. Uh, second period. Oh, man. Oh, my God. Oh, how are you going to let this happen on your home home ice? How are you going to let Zach Parise get a hat trick in Dallas? Come on. Need to have a big third here. Got to have a big third. Uh, increase that sim speed. There we go. 
Gotta have a big third. Come on. Can we get anybody? We're getting outshot again. Daniel Sedin coming through in the clutch. The veteran. And Tyler Sagan. Oh, man. Oh. Victor Hedman with the goal, too. Oh, man. This is a game. Five to four. Oh, we got to kill this penalty. Come on. We need a goal. Come on. Please, somebody. Oh, come on. Somebody get a goal. Are you kidding me? We score three goals in the third. Make it a one-goal game, but we just can't come back. Can't come back from a four-goal lead. That's uh, that's tough. Well, we took our best shot at it, though. Oh, man. So after two games, it's tied one-to-one. -one. We're heading to Minnesota. Let's get up to it. All right, come on. Game three against Minnesota. Here we go. Uh, goals. Um, here we go. And simulate period. What the hell? Simulate period. There we go. Ah, oh, Folan. I don't know who that guy is. He gets a goal on Vasilevsky. We're doing better for shots this game. Doing better, but they're still out shooting us. Sure, it's only by one shot. But, uh, after the first period, and, uh, the uh, game one, they're only out shooting us by two. And uh, that ended up to be like 15, 16 shots. So we got to step it up. We got to get a goal. I, hell, we need two goals right now. We need to take the lead. Show them what's up. We're not just going to be pushed over. All right. We get two goals, but unfortunately, they get two goals as well. Anthony Mantha and Devin Uroff. <laughs> and Daniel Sedin getting a goal on Devin and Dubnik, but... Vasilevsky is feeling like Swiss cheese right now. I mean, he's letting three goals already on 20 shots. I feel like I got to start Jack Campbell next game. All right, and third period. Here we go. Come on. Only down by one. Oh, power pull five on three. How are you not going to capitalize? How can you? There we go. Jameel Smith getting a goal. That's a beauty. Come on, we're out shooting them now. We just got to keep putting pucks in that power play. Jamie Ben getting a goal. Take a 4-3 lead. Oh, can we hold on to it? Yeah. 4-3 win in game three. Taking home the W on uh, on their ice. Really proving that the, uh, the North Stars never should have left Minnesota. <laughs> oh, the AHL squad made the, uh, the playoffs as well. So uh, let's get into uh, game four here. Game four on their ice. Uh, we got to come out strong. I'm really, uh, I really think we're gonna have a, a good chance to win this. Uh, simulate period. Oh, nobody scores. All right. So they're still out shooting us. Seems like that's a recurring theme this game. I mean, last game we did have, we did end up with more shots than them, but I feel like that's just because we had more power plays. So we need to get more pucks on that, especially with the offensive talent that we do have. We need to get just fire everything to the net. You get it set up in the zone, you got to be firing. So come on. Second period. There we go. JVR getting a goal to tie it up. But <sighs> Tyler Vanek getting a goal. Man, what a lazy player to score on. So you're going to let him walk in there and score? Come on, third period. Got to get a goal. Maybe another one for insurance. Power play, please, somebody. No, oh, man. As good of the players as we have, we should be scoring every single power play, it feels like. Come on. All right, we're out, we're out shooting them now. I guess I just saw that. We're going to go to... Oh, come on. Kill it, kill it, kill it. Oh, don't tell me it's a major penalty. All right, we're going into overtime. Really need somebody to be a hero. Tyler, uh, Tyler Sagan, Jamie Ben, where are you at? We need we need our stars to be stars right now. <laughs> Alright, resume. Alright, here we go. Starting overtime. Alright, they're all shooting us now. We got oh, okay, we're getting back into it. Oh, please somebody can somebody score? Come on, it's our time right now. Power play. We need to get a goal on this. Power play. Yes, Anthony Mantha getting a goal on Dubnik. Man, right around the same time that uh Jamie Ben got a goal. And overtime before. All right, we're taking a three to one lead. Two overtime wins. Two overtime wins. That's uh. So they're proven that they're not going to be a pushover. All four games have been one goal games, with only uh. One of uh. 
Okay, never mind. I was say if you score four, if you score uh, four goals, you're guaranteed to win. But uh, that's that's not even close to being true. All right, so game five. Uh, we're back on our home ice. We gotta we gotta come out strong for our fans here. Really gotta show them that we deserve to be in the playoffs. Those last two years were flukes. We deserve to be here, and we will move on to the second round. So come on. Marcel Gosh getting that depth scoring third line from the from an awkward angle, but still we're leading one to nothing. We're heavily out shooting them. That's what I love to see. Second period. Oh, Dumba gets a goal, and wow, they must have had a, they must have had like 14 shots in that period. They definitely outshot us in that, probably doubling us, because I think we only had 11. We gotta get more pucks to the net. Gotta keep up the offensive pressure. Come on. You're playing in front of your home crowd. You're, we're at, we're in Dallas right now, and Zach Preese gets a goal. Oh, man. He's probably been skating around this ice acting like it's his. Come on. Oh, my God. And he gets another one. Please, can somebody step up? Get a goal. Oh, man. you got to be kidding me. I don't want to go back to Minnesota. But it looks like we're going to have to. We lose game five. Four to one. Jesus. That's the first game that hasn't been decided by one goal. So we're heading to Minnesota for game six. Oh man, we can, uh, if we do not if we don't uh if we don't get the win here, uh it's not looking too good for game seven, even though I'd be at home. So we need to get the win right now. We need all of our big guns to step up. Tyler Sagan, Jamie Ben, I'm looking at you. Gotta, oh, Daniel Sedin, a quick one, 19 seconds in. That's what I'm talking about. That's why we picked you up. Yeah. All right. First, oh, God, Tyler Vanek, or Thomas Vanek. God, he's such a lazy player. How can we let him score? They're heavily out shooting us. I feel like that has something to do with it. Second period. Um, Zach Parise again. He has owned the ISIS in this series, we need to shut him down, please. Can somebody just lay a big hit on him and, oh God, please. Intimidate him, do something, get him out of the play. Frustrate him, start chirping. Come on, we're only down by one. We may be on the road, we may be getting outshot, but we still, oh my, Zach, oh, Zach Parise. Oh, JVR, okay, it's a one goal game. It's a one goal game, that's good. Kill off that penalty. There we go. All right, we're still in this. We just can't let Zach Parise touch the puck. Oh, another pa Oh, my God. Of course. Zach Parise. Are you kidding me? Oh, my God. He's a great player, and he's playing great right now, and our great players aren't playing so great right now. Oh, my God. I feel like Joe, or John Madden saying that. Oh, come on. Game 7 is... In Dallas, we got to come out strong for a home home crowd. Got to come out strong. I'm really looking at our stars in this game. Come on, Jamie Benn, Tyler Sagan, Anthony Mantha. You're still on your rookie deal. Prove that you want another uh, another contract. This is the last year of it. JVR, same thing. If you, want, if you want a big contract, I will sign it to you. Just come up big in this game, please. We got to prove that this year we belong in the playoffs. This year... We are going to make it at least to the second round. Come on. We got to prove that we are better than the Minnesota Wild. Let's go. First period. Tyler Sagan. Yeah, there we go. Starting it off good. Getting a goal in the first period. Second period. All right. All right. We played good defensively. We just need another goal. We cannot just win by one goal. Uh, Zach Parise is doing too good right now. We need another goal. We need an insurance one. I'm looking at everybody on the team, especially Klingberg. Where are you at? You had 67 points in the regular season. I haven't seen you score a goal yet. Where are you? All right. Third period, please. We need an insurance marker. Come on. Can somebody bang one home? All right. Power play. Here we go. We need this. Oh, my God. They tie it up one to one. Come on. Please, somebody score. Anybody. Oh, my God. Please, can somebody score? All right, we're going into overtime. 
Game 7 overtime. You can't write a better finish than this right now. Actually, I'm sure you can, but... Minnesota against Dallas. They're tied in shots, so they're probably playing about evenly offensively with uh, time on attack about the same. We just need to get pucks to the net, get rebounds, go hard, be gritty, put our noses to the grindstone. This is our last chance right now. Last chance to get things done. Come on. I know we got it in us. I went and made certain moves so I know we could get to this spot, and I know we would succeed. Come on, let's kill this right now. Oh, who's taking a major penalty in overtime in Game 7? Oh, and Charlie Coyle. Come on. Oh, my God. How are we kicked out of the playoffs in the first round already? Oh, my God. You've got to be kidding me. Charlie fucking Coyle. And Zach fucking Parise, I'm sure he, I don't know how many fucking goals he scored. He had like two hat-tricks in this series. Oh my god, we blew a 3-1 to one lead. Oh my god. Uh, I'm just disappointed. God, we have a good team. Hold the team meeting. Here we go. Oh, boys, we're done for the year end. A lot of you gave it all, you're all out there. I know that. Hopefully next year will be better for the franchise. Actually, you know what? I need more of you guys next year. Challenge yourselves and set your sights on the cup. Next year, we are winning the Stanley Cup. Come on. Oh, my God. And people didn't like that. <laughs> I don't care. Next year, we are winning the Stanley Cup. Starting today, I'm predicting it. We're winning the Stanley Cup in 2019. Oh, God. Well, uh, I guess I can simulate ahead a day. See who moved on and see who got eliminated. <sighs> Fuck. Come on. Uh, playoff. Oh, playoff favorite right now is fucking Buffalo. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me, Buffalo? Oh, my God. Minnesota, Calgary, Edmonton, Colorado, New York, Ottawa, and Buffalo, Pittsburgh. And Buffalo's the fucking favorite. Are you kidding me? I got. I gotta look at Zach Parise. How many fucking goals did he score against us? God, nobody could shut him down. Minnesota Wild. Here we go. He had eight goals in seven games. Eight goals in seven games. I know this is a video game, but that's still ridiculous. Oh my god. Eight goals in seven games. Eight fucking goals. Oh my god. He's a great player and he played great. It's it's just a simple fact. Uh, I gotta look at my stats now. See who came to play and see who didn't come to play. Henrik Sedin, wow. Did not score a goal, but really setting everybody up. Seven points. What a stud at 37 years old. Man, it's a shame he's getting older. I would love to have him and his brother back on the team. But three goals, three and three assists for Tyler Sagan and Daniel Sedin. That's great. That's that's what they should be, especially in the playoffs. It's harder to score in the playoffs. They still did fantastic. Uh, JVR, Anthony Mantha, you're right where you should be. Uh, I would have loved Jimmy Ben to kick in another goal, especially Game Seven overtime. But it just couldn't happen. Uh, Klingberg, four points. That's solid. Headman, three points. Uh, again, that's not bad. But really not too much depth scoring going on. Clutterbuck was uh, fucking invisible. Uh, Sevier, Patrick Eves, uh, Chris Russell, and Delzato especially. I mean, I figured they would have been something. 
in the playoffs, but nope. Uh, how did Vasilevsky do? All right, nine oh eight. So that's not too. That's not that good. Save percentage. It's probably before. Oh, nine oh eight save for. Oh, that's bad. And two point eight goals against. That's not good either. <sighs> He'll be better next year. Jet Campbell will grow a little better, so we'll have a better backup. Even though he probably won't use him in the playoffs, although I probably should have. <sighs> oh well. Well, we gave it our all this year. I'm just gonna go ahead and simulate up to the draft, and uh, I'll get to that one next time. Then. Oh my God! I still just can't believe. First round. We have such a good team. And we get knocked out in the first round. Oh my god. It's disheartening. I mean, Texas Stars seem to be doing alright. Uh, oh, they're moving on. Jesus. I'm just going to let the scout do whatever he wants. Texas Stars, they're doing all right. Ah, oh, it looks like they lost. Well, it looks like they made it to the finals, but the New York ring. Oh, the Texas Stars did win. That's nice. Show oh, Pavel Zaucha. Zacha, whatever the hell. Can't fucking pronounce his name. Oh, I gotta see how he did. Uh the Rangers win the cup. That's I don't even know what to think about that. They're trying to trade Lungfist and they win the cup. Oh my god, I don't even know what's happening there. Alright, so gotta look at uh Pavel Zacha, Zacha, however the hell you pronounce it. Take a look at the playoff tree in a second. I gotta look at our number one prospect here. Oh man. He's an 84 overall. It says he's a third liner, but uh, he's got his shot going for him, but his offensive awareness is shit. And his puck skills aren't too great either. Hmm. He's got good speed. He's decent physically. His defense could... No, it's actually, it's pretty good. It's just his face-offs that really make it look worse because he's a winger. He doesn't need face-offs. He's not going to be that good of a scorer. I mean, his sense is... That's really offensive awareness and poise. Two things that you really need. He really doesn't have either. God, he better... Oh, he better jump. God, love his shot. Love it. Oh, God, it's just his puck... What kind of season did he have? Only 10 points in 25 games. I can't imagine his regular season. Ah, 32 points. God. He's not he's not ready. He's not ready for the NHL yet. Even though his eight is 84 overall sounds ready for the NHL. It's just not. <sighs> Jason Dickinson, though. Man, 22 points, 25 games. Wow, look at that slap shot power. Jesus. Got Zidane Chara over here. Uh, Matthias Janmark. Uh, yeah, he's nothing special. Uh, Remy Ely. Again, see, these guys just got great skating categories. It's boosting up their overall. Uh, David Miller. Again, great sk skating category is probably the biggest part of his overall wise. I mean, you drop all those down by five, he probably goes down to a. Uh, I don't know, he'd be in the 60s. But, like, Pavel Zalja. Oh, my God. His shot and skating, it's good. And they'd be great if I was playing every game. But, oh, man. He can still become something. I, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not abandoning him by any means. I never would. He's, uh, he's got high elite potential. I believe he can become a first-liner someday, but... 
Not with those offensive stats. Not with those offensive stats. Oh my god. 91 and goalie. What the hell happened here? Oh god. I gotta look at... Alright, let's get into this. View contra... Anthony Mantha grew. Okay, that's good. Ah, uh, I hope it was all offensive stats that grow. I do not give a shit about your defensive stats. Okay, so let's take a look at the overalls real quick. Uh, 93, 92, 91, 90. That's good. Uh, where? Oh, don't tell me he's on the minor league roster. All right, so he has Zacha, Zaka. What, how the hell do you pronounce it? 84 overall. Still not doesn't have the offensive stats, though. But Anthony Mantha, I got to take a look at his stats. I mean, Jesus. Great shot. Love it. His offense. Oh, my God. It's just offense awareness just needs to get a little bit better. Oh, and you'll be having oh, great seasons. Oh, I cannot wait for next year. Oh, I'm already getting excited. All right. Let's go back to the main roster. Uh, JVR is not happy. I don't know why. Um, Chris Russell stay the same. Uh, Henrik Sedin, ooh, that's not looking good. Clutterbuck, ooh, Delzato dropped one. Oh, where's the other Sedin? Oh, he he retired. Yep, he retired. Man, that all oh, or unless he's in the AHL. No, he's not even in the AHL. Well. Once Sedin retired, ah uh, man, I figured Henrik and Daniel would have went out together, but uh, I'm not gonna be re-signing Henrik Sedin, so uh, he'll have to go play for some other team. But yeah, oh god, I can't wait for JVR, Anthony Mantha, a full season of JVR. Oh god, next year, I'm telling you. Next year's our year. But until then, I'll see ya.